nose there. They're always looking. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, what's he doing there? Oh, what's he doing there? And you just consume so much of their time and their life that, you know what I mean? They just don't know what's going on. And they, <laughs> it's just uh, zing, 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 zing. I do my thing. <laughs> That's just the way it is. So, like I said, I hope. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, folks. I hope everybody's staying safe. And I hope everybody is, uh, you know, do what you gotta do, folks. You know, if you wanna wear the mask, wear the mask. If you don't wanna wear the mask, hey, to each his own, like I said, man. You know, just take care of yourselves. Just protect yourself. Just protect your babies, you know. Like, you know, if you're worried about it, you know, if you're, if you're, I know the hype is so bad out there that, you know what I mean, that people are so scared and so, uh, you know, so, uh, to the max with everything, like, and everybody's so worried about, oh, does this one have it? Oh, does that one have it? Am I going to catch it? Oh, blah, 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 blah. If you're going to catch it, you're going to catch it. Like, I know there's people out there that's caught it, and I've talked to these people, and they're, they're fine. You know, like, it's just a cold, it's a virus, it's, you know, and they're just bloated out of proportion, like, you know, like, to me, like, come on, like, it's just too much, and if it was so bad, why are they allowing all these international flights into Canada, you know, why every day there's flights from China, Pakistan, all, all the hot spots, and there they're talking about immigrating children to Canada. Like, you know, like what? Like, why? Like, Canada's not, have, we don't have enough infected people in Canada? As you say, there's thousands of people every day. There's hundreds and hundreds of people every day in ICUs. There's thousands of people being infected in every province. Ontario's going crazy. There are hot spots everywhere. Uh, you know, Quebec is, uh, oh my God. You know, they're locked down. Every place is locked down. Like, uh, and, and you're still allowing international flights. Don't say there's no international flights because I live in a clear blue sky area on the east coast of Canada. And all the international flights fly right over our home. And we see the chemtrails all the time. Like, duh. Like, planes are flying constantly. All through this thing is the planes have flew into Canada. They haven't stopped, you know? Like last night in, in Florida. There was 15 or 25,000 people in attendance at a UFC uh, 261 fight. Live from Florida. You know? Most of the people didn't even have masks on in the, in the arena. Like, come on. What, what? Florida don't got the virus, but these guys got the virus. And those guys don't got the virus in Texas, but these guys got the virus over the park. Bullshit. You know, it's just, Florida's always been a state, that's one thing I can say. You get caught in Florida with a joint of pot, you're going to prison for the rest of your life. You get caught with opiates, they'll send you to rehab. Because it's opiate country, it's where they make all the opiates, it's where they, they just, just drive on the opiates. That's their money, they'll never legalize pot in Florida. Because it's opiates. Opiate, opiate, opiates. Opiate manufacturers. They're the gateway to all the cocaine. They're the gateway to all the heroin. They always been, you know. They say, "Oh, it comes to California. It comes to California. Yeah, yeah, it comes to California. It comes to Florida a lot more than it comes to California. Always has." So we're coming down on twenty-four minutes on this simple syrup. And it seems like it's doing its thing. Just simmering away. But politics, I get carried away. I just can't stand politics. I get carried away with politics. Politics is just not my uh, forte. Because I just can't stand thieves and liars. You know? People that lie to your face and uh, think you're stupid and uh, steal, steal from you and uh, steal from people and... Uh, 
you know, and think people are stupid, and, uh, you know, Cana Canadians are just too, too, <sighs> you know, like, in 1939, 18-year-old Canadian boys were signing up to go to war. Today, if there was ever a war where there was a draft, you know where 18-year-old boys would be? Hiding in their mama's basements, playing their little PlayStation. Oh! That's 18-year-old kids today. Or stuck with a needle in their arm or speed up their nose. There's a lot of that. But, you know, time has changed so much. Nowadays, it's, uh, it's not good and nothing's going to, nothing's going to get better, that's for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, nothing's going to get better. So, we're still going on this one, and we got 22 minutes left, and our tincture is still going. There's eight hours for that, so that's going to be tomorrow morning at 3 o'clock. So I hope this can of syrup comes out, because this is the first time I do it, and uh, I watched a few videos online on how to do it, so... I just hope it comes out. Looks like it's going to come out. I don't see no oil slicks or anything in the syrup, so it seems that it's uh, it's going to work. Hopefully. And it should be really, really good. Oh, young Garak on the go. That's just the coolest machine. If you guys want a butter machine, man, this one's uh, a few bucks cheaper than the uh, magical butter machine, but it's worth every cent. It's worth every cent. I haven't had a problem. This is like uh, at least 10 times I use it so far. And I've made butter. I've made uh, cooking oil. Uh, I made tincture, four-hour tincture, and there I'm making eight-hour tincture. Uh, I've used a blend clean on it. Um, it just, it just works so good, so good. And the product, the butter that comes out of it is so nice. Like I used to make butter myself just in a pot with cheesecloth and that. And, uh, you know what I mean? Like 24 hours on the stove and low heat and stirring that all the time. And this thing here, uh, one hour, I think, or two hours. Yeah, two hours. Two hours and your butter is done. You got the... Yeah. You can do uh, two and a half pounds of butter at a time, so it's like, wow, guys, yeah, it's, it's lots. And uh, like I said, I haven't had a problem with it yet. It's so cool. It works so well. Angarok. Angarok.com. Uh, I think I paid, I think it was one eighty nine, and there was a $10 coupon for or yeah, either a five or a ten dollar coupon on uh, Amazon when I bought it, but it's worth every cent. It's worth. It's even worth one hundred and eighty nine bucks. Like I, I have no, no quirks with it at all. It has not given me one problem. It has done exactly what it says it does. Uh, you know, no fancy bells and whistles, no uh, fancy lights on top or anything like that. Like the magical butter machine. If you want fancy lights on it, all you got to do is buy some LED strips and just tape them around, and ding, you got fancy lights. So there's no big thing there. But uh, it's uh, it does it does the trick. It does it does the job. It, it works really well. So if you're looking at buying uh, a butter machine and you don't want to spend two hundred and fifty dollars on the magic butter machine. Angarok got you at 189 on Amazon. Check them out.
They're very good product. I got no problem. Angarak, come up. And we got our syrup and still got nice bubbly. We got 18 and a half minutes left on our syrup. It, it just smells so good. I don't know. Oh, smell a vision. I wish I had smell a vision. Oh, because this is very, very good. This is just, oh, just so sweet. Well, we got another three minutes left of this can of syrup, simple syrup, and it's looking really, really good if I do say so myself. Because if you can see this nice, cold, golden syrup, it is just beautiful. I just can't wait to try this. It just smells so, oh my God, just, mm -mm. This is the first time I attempt it, so I hope it comes out really good. It is just wild how, uh, how simple some things are and you don't realize, you know, because this stuff is sold for $100 a bottle. In the dispensaries. So, I'm sure I got a few 30 milliliter bottles in this uh, this pot. I'm sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. And I'm sure it's going to be high, high quality. They say when you uh, do it with quarry buds, you get quarry results, right? So, you got an ounce of quarry bud, decomboxylate it in there. So, it should come out really nice. It's been simmering for an hour on low heat. This looks so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I guess my timer was off a little bit. I just looked at the time on my video and my timer was off a little bit. That just looks. Mm -hmm. Oh, the smell. Oh. It smells like I'm making pancakes here. Mm. How many pancakes here? It's just so, so nice. So, everything is going well with the hunger rock. Probably got about another six hours left on that. That'll be done around 3 o'clock in the morning, so we won't worry too much about that. It's a little later. But this can 
Guinness here will be done in about eight minutes, roughly, give or take a few minutes. And we gotta leave it set for about an hour to, to cool, and then strain it. And then we'll see what we got. This should be really, really good. I'm just really impressed with how it uh, how it came out. This is like I said, this is the first my first attempt at doing this, so I didn't even want to videotape it because I thought I may mess it up but I said hey you learn by your mistakes buddy that's how you done it all the time so I guess uh, we'll see but it looks it looks just what it looked like in the video that I watch nice and, oh it's just perfect there's no oil slicks everything's emulsified nice the syrup's nice, a nice golden brown. It's just, yeah, it's really nice. Oh, that's going to be nice, nice. I'm not sure how potent it will be. Because, like I said, this is the first time I've ever made it. So, I'm not sure of the potency. Uh, by the calculations, like with that calculator and that, it says it should be like something like 25,000 milligrams of THC, but I can't see that, because it's like, hey, come on, I only used an ounce of pot, a couple of ounces, a couple of cups of water, a couple of cups of sugar, so, maybe, if it is that strong, somebody's getting their butt whooped, they'll tell you that, <laughs> that's for sure, that's 25,000 milligrams of THC is going to whoop somebody's ass. If it doesn't whoop mine, it's going to whoop somebody's, that's for sure. But I'm sure it'll whoop mine 25,000 milligrams of THC. So. Timer is up. We're going to take this off the stove. We're going to leave it set for onto it so no particles get into it and we're gonna cut you loose we're gonna say peace and we'll do another video after in an hour when this cools down and we'll extract it from the we'll uh, extract the cannabis from the syrup and we'll see what it says so this is Ken from Canadian East Coast Dabbing Crew we want to say we love you. Take care. Shout out to my brother, Jeremy Turcock, down there in the lousy Junction Hill River Bar. Uh, Dave Plord, Maggie Gagnon back there in the Belmoral. Letter and Lace up there in Edmonston, St. Leonard's area. Phil, I love you, brother. Take care. And all the rest of you subscribers, thanks for subscribing. And like I said, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We just talk about dabs and we do some cooking and uh, we do some uh, bullshitting and uh, we just have a good time. That's all. We just have fun. Uh, sometimes I go live on the computer. I'm just trying to get a, a thousand subscribers so I can go live on my cell phone. So uh, as I said, we just do... Uh, do anything cannabis, you know, we're just starting this channel, so if you like what you see, hit the like button, if you uh, want to leave a comment on the video, leave a comment on the video, you know, like I say to everybody, just be nice, be friendly, you know what I mean, if you got a comment that you think that I'm doing something wrong, just state it, buddy, and I'll uh, I'll try to fix it, <laughs> you know, if I find I'm doing something wrong, I'll, I'll fix it, no problem, but uh, as I said, stay safe. And politics ain't my place, so I shouldn't even talk about it. <laughs>
But hey, love you all. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching the videos. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy. You know, like uh, I'm uh, trying to be a little bit educational to the people that don't know how to do this. And I, I know there's thousands and thousands of videos out there. So, as I said, be safe, take care, wear your mask, wash your hands. If you want to get your vaccine, get a vaccine. If you don't want to get a vaccine, hey, pro-choice. It's your choice, your body, your choice. So, just look at it that way. I'm going to cut you loose. I'm going to let this can of simple syrup cool down. I'm uh, going to pop in the shower, take a shower, and then we get back at this in an hour and see how it comes out. So, peace all. Cut you loose. Canadian East Coast Dab and Crew, we down. <laughs>